Jennifer, it's great to see you. Um, I know this must have been great to be with you. It must have been wild for you to watch this uh, over the last few days all over again. Just your first, your just initial reaction to watching him. He got clearly got the body language. He had the arms crossed. He was right. It, it was very angry that this right. this reporter asked him kind of some fairly logical questions. I would I would imagine. Right. Right. Well, my first impression was he's just not as good a liar anymore as he used to be. He's not on his game where that's concerned. Yeah, you know, I think Bill is afraid. You know, I'm advocating that Bill be prosecuted for his sex crimes, just like Harvey Weinstein has been arrested and Bill Cosby is, is about to be sentenced. Uh, why not Bill Clinton? He's nervous. That's why he's acting that way. And you know, probably has some health problems and it's affected his ability to respond as well as he used to be and, and tell lies as good as he used to. Well, you were a young woman, 27 years old, when you first, uh, you know, got involved with him. You know, he was married right. and, and you were not. Um, <clears throat> and, and you started having this relationship. At some point, uh, you you've now decided that it became a non-consensual harassment relationship, which doesn't really comport with what you originally, how you originally classified this. So now, how are you all these years later claiming that it was, it, that it was non-consensual at some point? It's very interesting because back in 1977, when I met Bill, uh, we didn't have the laws to protect us. We as women, we were in, I was in the workplace in a man's world. I just had to do the best that I could. When I first met Bill Clinton, it was when I was sent out on my first story by myself after my training with my cameraman. He came on to me that night. I told him to knock it off. He proceeded to continue to come on to me for three months before I decided that I wanted to have a relationship with him, which at that point was consensual. But in today's standards, uh, and in hindsight, it was definitely sexual harassment. I was a little bit ashamed to admit that because uh, in a way, I mean, I was, I felt guilty because I was a willing participant at a point. So I, I felt guilty about saying that I was sexually harassed in the beginning, but I definitely was, absolutely. When you say you want him prosecuted, and then, when my, yeah, when you, wait, hold on. When you say you want him prosecuted, Jennifer, why not? Not for not for what? Because with sexual harassment, it's not a, it's a civil it's a, that's a civil case. Uh, but for the a criminal well, prosecution, Juanita are you has, referring? Are you you're referring to Juanita Broderick? Obviously, absolutely, Juanita. Uh, he raped Juanita. I've met Juanita. She is a beautiful person. Uh, I wanted to, I, like Hillary. I wanted to be in denial. I wanted to deny it, that these things could happen because I felt like that, that that wasn't the person that I had known. But when I met her uh, the first time and realized that she was a very genuine person and had no reason to lie about that, I had to come to terms with the fact that he was very capable and did do that. Why shouldn't he be prosecuted for rape as uh, Bill Cosby has, and, and Harvey Weinstein was just arrested. Why shouldn't he be? Why don't they, uh, why don't they arrest Hillary as a, as a co-conspirator? Because she's, she has allowed him, she has been the, the person that has let him go, and the enabler that has let him go and, and do what he's done to women. Uh, the, uh, by the way, we reached out to the Clinton um, Foundation, to Bill Clinton's personal attorney, David Kendall, uh, about this story and about your uh, your new allegations, and we did not get a response. Uh, so we did attempt to, well, to do that. Of course not. Uh, <laughs> Bill Clinton said of this. Not. I want to I want to play another a little snippet from Bill Clinton. This was also from this New York event last night. Let's watch. Okay. I support the Me Too movement, and I think it's long overdue. And I have always tried to support it in the decisions and policies that I've advanced. Uh, you know, he, he says he genuinely Sorry. supports the Me Too movement. He supports the Me Too movement, Jennifer, and he's, he wants people to yeah. believe him at this point. Your now, that's thoughts. the fourth biggest lie. In, that's the fourth biggest lie, and you know some of what the others are. Uh, he, he, has, he, he would say that, of course. 
uh, what would he say but that he is in support of it? He's been a huge abuser of the Me Too movement. And I would like for the Me Too movement to be so kind as to recognize myself and Paula and Juanita and Kathleen and many, many other women starting many years ago that have come out with claims of, of sexual harassment from Bill Clinton. They haven't given us any respect as far as I'm concerned. We're the Me Not movement. That's what we are. Why do you think they haven't? I, I, it just seems like that the Clintons are bulletproof, that it doesn't matter what they do, they seem to get away with things. And this would be another instance of that. Uh, he just, he, he hasn't been held accountable. And how are, uh, you, how are you doing in why your they, life? I, I don't know. Gen that's a good question. That's a good question. Why? Well, I mean, why we've well, I think been it's so political. Ignored. A lot of people I'd think like to know the answer to that. Yeah, I think the Me Too movement. There's a lot of good stuff going on, but sadly, a lot of it is politicized. A lot of it is politicized, and Very so people like so. Juanita Broderick, they don't count. People like you know Kathleen Willey, they don't count. How are you doing, by the way? We're out of time, but how are you, how are you doing? And after all these years, you look great, by the way. But how are you doing? Thank you. God bless you. Oh, and I love you, by the way. I'm a big fan. I'm doing fine. I'm uh, getting ready to do a little reboot of my uh, my book. And uh, I've, um, I lost my mother in July of last year. So oh, that's, that's been a huge thing to overcome. But I'm doing good. And thank you for asking. I'm good. Thank um, you for having me. Absolutely, Jennifer. We really appreciate uh, your perspective. And, uh, mm -hmm. you know, this, and the Clintons, they, just, they never do seem to go away. Uh, and we appreciate it. The